hello everyone welcome back to our channel lifelines thank you guys so much for joining us today um during this video i will be talking about my after graduation plan i just want to talk about how my university and how my support system really helped me to get to this goal and so i'm really hoping this video comes across to people who are interested in widener because that's where i'm coming from but also definitely people who are just curious to hear about um coming from like a smaller university and how you could land a job at um, a hospital. So before we get into this video, I also just want to talk about our channel, what Ricky and I created here. Um, so basically this page, this channel is really just to, to be representation for students of color who are interested in going into the healthcare field. But that doesn't mean that not everybody is welcome. Yes, everybody come in. We, Ricky and I's goal here is really just to share our knowledge and to share experiences so that way other people can learn from them. So if you guys are interested in this, in our channel, interested in this video, please hit that subscribe button because it really helps us reach a greater large a larger group of people we've already at 140 subscribers which is freaking awesome check out our instagram page i'll leave the link in the description box so as you guys can tell from the title of this video and for my sweatshirt i graduated from widener university and i will be having my first job as a nurse on a hematology slash oncology unit which just kind of means that i'll be working with patients with cancer but mostly cancer that is like blood related so like leukemias and stuff like that and before i really kind of get into like how I got this position I want to talk about like how I got here because if you know me from like school or like personal life like you probably know that um I bounced around between different specialties for like my entire four years like I don't think there was ever a point in these last four years where I was very like dead set on the specialty and I was telling people like actively like oh yeah I want to be here like some people they know they want to go to peds and so that's where they're at and they never change from that like for me I started off um loving women's health and I still do I still love the idea of women's health and then I kind of dibbled and dabbled into like neuro ICU there's this um nurse that I used to listen to um her name's like Katie Keebler she was like a neuro ICU nurse and she has like a YouTube YouTube and a podcast called Fresh R in Nursing that is so good and I love it so much and she definitely inspired me like to venture more into like ICU stuff so and then I was like a little bit of OR so and I feel then, like right now like I'm still like kind of bouncing around between specialties and if you would have told me like a year ago from now like oh Priscilla you'd be like starting off in like oncology I've been like oh that's interesting but i am really excited for this position because as i was talking to like the hiring manager and the recruiter like they were both they were all just talking about like how it's a really great place to start your career like a lot of people will say start off in med surge and you know how i feel about that like start off wherever you want to start off on right but they were saying how the people who do start off here even though it is a specialty and it is quite specialized that you'll be giving like um chemo medication and working patients primarily with just cancer it still gives you like a good foundation for like your nursing career and even if you choose to like move on to do something else you'll still have built like a really great foundation of knowledge here the beauty of nursing is that i could switch it up at any point in time like, so next i want to talk about how widener and how my working experience and how my support system and relationships with different people in the healthcare system kind of helped me get to this point in my life so I did i went to widener i did four-year program um started off 2017 ended 2021 thank the lord i ended up i ended my my time there on time because nursing is not easy and i just want to say like if it takes you a little bit longer than four years to get that degree because it is a hard program and i feel like a lot of times there isn't much time to factor in like your own personal life I was at Widener for the past four years. I was a caregiver for a family and I was working as a nurse extern at another hospital system. And Widener has um, a career and development, I think that's what it's called at least, a career and development like office on their campus, which basically, and I hope hopefully all schools have this, um, have this resource for you because basically what their role was is just to make sure that people were getting jobs after graduation or just getting jobs while they were in school so i was able to like build my resume with them build my cover letter and practice interviewing with them because and it was all free it was nothing i ever had to pay out of pocket for i would just make a meeting with whoever it was and then we met up and we got my application in and then they and they were able to give me like live feedback about that kind of stuff and, and then a quick rundown of my nurse externship which i did a nurse externship going into my the summer going into my senior year of nursing school basically how it worked out is that Mine was really special where a lot of nurse externships, they will have you be like a nurse extern for like maybe like a few months during the summer. So in that role, you would be shadowing the nurse for like however long it is. Like mine was, I would be shadowing the nurse for 12 hours a day and I would have to come in twice a week during the summertime. And then when I was in school, it went down to only two 12 shifts in a month. 
and I would shadow the nurse for the full 12 hours during that time. And that's how my externship stayed throughout my entire time there. So like I never, unfortunately, I never went into the role of just having my own patients and like being like a tech or a CNA on the floor. Like I always just was like a nurse extern where I would shadow. But of course I was like doing patient care with the nurse and kind of like doing the assessments and treating and doing all the good stuff that the nurse is doing. And I was able to learn a lot about nursing through that. And it was a great supplement for my own clinicals that I had. And then I also talked about being a caregiver, which I felt like this is really where I was able to get the job that I'm going into now because um, I was very lucky. I was very freaking lucky that I worked for a family that very much wanted to see me like grow and wanted to see me um, flourish so they were very like helpful with putting my name in like good conversation so i was recommended by some by a, a family member in the family that i was at on, for the floor that i will be working at so the fact that i had so i put in my application and the fact that um one of their nurses already was recommending me i felt like is really what helped out my application being seen because at this hospital system it is a very i feel like it's really competitive i don't know if it's just competitive or if it's just there's so many people applying all at once but my application usually like never went anywhere with this hospital and it wouldn't get looked at unfortunately well, I would have never get offered an interview with the ones that I did apply to. But when I applied to this specialty that I'm in and I had the nurse recommend me, um, that's when I started to like receive like um, emails from like the recruiter about like, oh, like, let's talk about like next steps and see where we're at. Um, so if you guys are applying to like super competitive hospital, and I don't think this is the same for everywhere. I think a lot of times you could 110% get a job without a recommendation. But if you know it's like a really competitive or it's really hard to get into, I would use your clinicals or use LinkedIn or use whatever that you can to like find somebody that's in that area that you want to be in that you could connect with and have them put in a good word for you because I don't think it will ever hurt you unless it's coming from like a bad person that it'll ever hurt you that um somebody is recommending you for a position because so next i want to talk about why i chose this hospital on the hematology slash oncology unit because if you know me during like like i was saying my last few months i was very much um focused on like icu like i remember i had a clinical on a step down floor and i felt like that was like the first that was like one of the first times that i felt like so like oh my gosh, like this is like actually like, the coolest thing ever. We were able to like, anyways, whatever. We were able to like do really cool like IC, well, step down stuff. I was offered a position on an ICU floor at another hospital system, but I was still also like having like applications that were out into the world. <laughs> so then I was stuck between, do I stick with ICU, which is where I know I want to be at, or do I go to... A different specialty at a hospital that I really wanted to be at and I also want to say like this hospital hospital number one with ICU was a great hospital I felt like it would it very much valued like African Americans like in their workplace or just people of color like I remember just like reading about like their mission statement I just felt like they constantly were kind of um highlighting these like voices that often get kind of silenced and I felt like it would have been like an amazing place to start at. And if I hadn't had gotten this like job offer, I knew 110% that's where I would be at. But a deciding factor was that was kind of like my long-term goals. So at the hospital that I will be starting off at, they offered like more for tuition reimbursement. I figured if I wanted to go back to school, I want to go for as free as possible because I'm already in debt for so much. I'm already in debt so I need to go somewhere that will offer me like the most and then also like the name of this hospital is kind of like I don't know historical like I felt like as you're like applying to different places it'll kind of like I don't know maybe names don't really matter but I felt like it would just kind of show like oh okay like this is like really good like hospital that you came from not to say that the hospital hospital one wasn't a bad was a bad name it's still a really great hospital and it's like known to be like one of the best places to work at but hospital two, where I will be working at, would also kind of have that extra that it offered tuition reimbursement and also like the location of it. Like hospital number one um, was kind of like in a, I for me, I really wanted to be somewhere where I could enjoy like my, my youth, you know, I'm like in my 20s. So I want to be around like people my age and like socializing and hanging out. So hospital number one was kind of like in a more um secluded area versus hospital number two was in a more like a, youthful youthful place that had a lot more like people coming in and out of the place so ultimately i chose hospital number two because of like the location tuition reimbursement and also just kind of like the idea that it would be um 
an amazing place to start off my career ultimately and then if i did want to transition into the icu i know it's not something that's impossible like they have like um critical care pathway program so further down the line i could definitely look into that and eventually if i'm still interested in the icu i could still go for that so now that i'm graduating i i plan my nclex for june 23rd my start date is supposed to be july 12th so fingers freaking crossed that i'm able to get my life I, I i'm not even gonna think about passing or not passing i'm doing everything that i can to pass that nclex on my first try hopefully in one year from now i will be able to save enough enough money to move into an apartment that is closer to my hospital because right now it's an hour commute mm -hmm an hour commute for 12 hour shifts i know that will be brutal the first year but um hopefully long term it'll be worth it and so right now when it comes to going back and getting like another degree i'm just putting that on like hold just for like a little bit because right now i'm just trying to like enjoy the fact that i am done school for a little bit and just kind of like focus on figuring out what is it that i like and what i don't like because what i don't want to do is put myself in a master's program and not really be sure of where I want to see myself in like the next five, 10 years, because I don't know, I could change my, I could change my mind and I don't want to be tied to something that is not really where I want to be at. And then also spending money into that extra degree would be hard. So I'm in a four plus two program right now with Widener. And so in two years from now, I'm supposed to come back and like do like my, um, my master the rest of like my master's courses so that way i'm able to get a master's degree but for me i think i want to at least wait like a year or two like using up all that time two years to come back to really decide on like what i want to do because i'm still young like if you think about it like i'm only 21 years old and i have my entire life to figure out what i want to do and i just want to be able to enjoy life without classes all the time because dang this feels good to not to not be in classes but so thank you guys for tuning in moving forward i I'm completely 100% planning on doing kind of a new grad series and also dedicating some videos into there about like um, my specialty, hematology and oncology. Because when I was, I like to look up, I like to Google things, right? I like to Google things and YouTube things and find out what other people are saying about the specialty. And when I was trying to Google like oncology, there was only like really like one or max two people on YouTube that really like talk about their specialty. And so I want to be able to talk about that for people who are interested in incorporating other like new grad stuff, like doing a video on like what to expect for new grad pay and how to make the most out of like your nurse residency program, if that's what you choose to go into. Um, so I'm excited. So thank you guys for listening, um, listening to me ramble for however long this video will come out to be. Um, please once again hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment um we have an instagram so please check out your lifelines underscore on instagram but thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you next week bye guys